Hi, little review today. Um, if you follow my channel, you'll have seen reviews on these boots before. Um, these are the Doc Martens For Life um, Smooth Hard Life Black. Um, you'll have seen the unboxing, a six month review, and now the final review at 11 months. So, how have they performed? Absolutely excellently. The um, For Life brand I've covered extensively on my channel. I've had the brown ones before, now I've had the black ones for a year. Um, they really do function very well. I think, you know, if anything, the black is a better product than the brown. Um, the brown have now been deleted, and I think the only ones in the range now are the black and the um, Oxblood Cherry Reds. Um, but yeah, absolutely fantastic boots. Um, I've given these much more wear than I have um, the previous boots I've had, but I've also given them more care. So a lot of people sort of commented, you know, I used to have giving them a polish because obviously the brain ones look pretty tired by the time I was um, exchanging them. So for these, I've used the uh, the Wonder Balsam, if that's how you say it, um, polish. So every month, every couple of months, just to keep them oiled up and waterproofed. Um, there were some initial issues about um, water coming in around the seam where the yellow stitching goes in. I did a video on that and basically all I did was um, put a thick layer of the of the sort of grease oil around it and just played a hairdryer and just forced it into the into the thread and that really helped out on waterproofing and that was the only thing I had to do. Um, as ever with these boots, um, if I move this one aside, um, the thing which ends their life is the tread. They wear smooth reasonably quickly and I do wish that Doc Martens would put a little bit more depth on the tread. I have tried to take this to the point of absolute failure. If you look at the heels there, they're really worn down by the way I walk and um, I was hoping to break through into the, the air pockets there just to get to the point where they really needed to be exchanged but it's got to the point where they're not comfortable anymore, they're slippy on wet surfaces um, and with it being winter it really is time to hand them in. Um, so yeah, I think they're looking really good actually. You know, Apart from the wear on the soles, um, the uppers certainly have lots of life left and they still look very oily and supple and they are um, really comfortable. The, the sort of heel cap there hasn't degraded, so it still supports the foot. Um, the footbed's fine. The insole is basic, but still fine. All the stitching's doing really well. And even the laces, which pretty much every other pair of the brown boots I've had, I got through both pairs of laces within a couple of months. They're really poor laces, but these, um, with the exception of, I think I lost one of the ends on it. Yeah, I lost one of the, the ends there, but Absolutely fine, much, much better. So yeah, I'll bring you in for a little close up so you can take a look at the details on the boot and make your own assessment of how they've held up. But as ever, I still do think this is a really good deal. These will be going back in, as I say, with a 20 pound check and uh, a new pair will be forthcoming. So yeah, really good. So we'll just quickly bring it in for some close ups and okay, then we'll just wrap coming up. in for a little close up here. Um, you can see the nice traditional yellow stitching around the edge. If anything, the application of the, the balsam has, has sort of slightly dulled that, but it does help with the waterproofing. You can see the leather's still nice, supple, greasy. And that's with a, so a monthly application of the treatment. The soles, you can see completely smooth for the larger portion down there on the heels. Lots of sort of wear to the side there, down to the way I walk. And uh, I was expecting it just to pop through, but it is a nice thick sole. It's just that it's um, the tread could be deeper. I do wish they would do something with that, but I don't think they will. All the stitching still good. The band around the top there hasn't fatigued, so that's quite nice. The strap at the back's all good. Yeah, holding up okay, well. Okay, well that's it. 
Um, I hope that was useful. If you want to find out a bit more about these boots and their features, um, do look back on my channel because I have done a lot of detail on these in the past and you'll be able to see how they wear um, and also all, all the features, I'll go through it in depth on my channel. It's just that this is one of many reviews, probably the last review I'll do of this particular model um, because I've just covered it so thoroughly. So I've done the browns which are now deleted, the blacks I think we've, we've done and um, yeah, whilst I'll continue wearing them, I'll get another pair. Uh, I don't really see that there's much more to say about them apart from they're really, really good value. Um, I think these are up to 169, which is quite a lot more than I paid originally. Um, but given that you know you get a year's wear out of them, really, if you wear them almost every day, I was wearing these for work, walking to work every day. And uh, so you get a year's wear and you get another pair for 20 quid at the end of the year. So I think it is a really good deal still. Um, yeah, as I say, check back on my channel if you want to know anything more. Um, I'll continue to recommend them. I think they're really good. It's a shame that they cancelled some of the colours, but um, that's business. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, check out the rest of my channel. Maybe you'd like to su subscribe if you don't already. Uh, we might share some common interests. So if you're into good quality footwear, check out my reviews on um, Thoroughgood, Freycap, um, Red Wing, um, Everyday Carry stuff, pen knives, um, fountain pens. Yeah, check it out. Okay, well, I hope that's useful. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.